Hello everyone, today is June 1st, 2014, and I thought it was time for a greenhouse update. There's a lot in here, so I'm going to try to cover it without the video getting too long. Alright, as you can see, it's early in the morning, so this is why my shadow is here. I put a nice little screen door on here. This is one we actually had on the house. It doesn't really, it doesn't really fit, but basically all this is for is to keep the chickens out when I'm not around. So you walk in, and there's just loads and loads of green. I'll try to cover this as quick as possible. <coughs> Again, these are radishes here. Um, let's see if I can get down and show you some. Uh, let's see, there you go. Some nice radishes in there. I actually harvested a good bunch of these, which actually looks like I didn't put even put a dent in it for the market last week. I'll get into that in another video. Got my bush beans, which they're not growing as well as I thought, but they are growing. Next to that, where I redid these, if you can remember, this used to be all beans. And I ripped them all out, weeded it all, put these back in, and I planted more radishes. And these things are growing like crazy. Along the bed, I'll do the beds first. Along here, again, more lettuce. And, uh, you know, don't give me uh, grief about the weeds. I know there's weeds here, and, uh, you know, it's a pain to take them out. Anyway, it's got lettuce growing here. This is a, a space where I harvested lettuce for market, cleaned it up, and I planted actually more Swiss chard in here. And it actually looks like there's one, where is it, right there, coming up already. And then here is some Swiss chard again. I didn't harvest any of this for the market. I will for next week. And there's a volunteer tomato. Coming along, I got my bed of mustard greens. I harvested quite a bit of these, but there's still loads, loads in there. Coming down here, this is Mizuna. There's actually four rows in here. There's a row kind of back in here. I harvested this, but this is kind of the cut and come again. Uh, if that's the turn, cut and come again. I, I cut these back, and you can see they're already starting to grow back. These here are the bok choys, which these have all bolted because of the heat. I harvested probably at least half of these that took to market last week and sold quite a few. I had that one monster one, if you remember that. But basically what I'm doing with these bok choys, I'm letting these go to seed, uh, letting them bolt, let them go to seed. I'll collect the seeds and then rip all these out and then probably plant more in the fall. Here are the broccoli and cauliflower. The plants are doing really, really nice, um, but they're not starting to form heads yet. I hope they do before they start bolting because the temperatures in here do get quite warm. Over here is a second bed of lettuce. This stuff is almost as big as the first stuff already. Coming down through here, this is stuff I haven't gotten into weeding yet uh, for reasons that I don't need to explain. But uh, basically I've been hurt, so I haven't been able to weed this stuff. So I got my garlic in here, second broccoli and cauliflower. Got some onions in here, popcorn, feisty peas, got some beets in here. Here I have some kale. Mustard green, spinach down there. <clears throat> now, I'll do the center section now. Now this whole length, all the way down to the, almost to the end, there's all tomatoes. There's about 45 or so, I think, in there. And uh, with the grow bags, I ended up not being a huge fan of them. They're awkward, they don't, as you see, none of them are kind of upright. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but uh, the tomatoes that I planted in here, actually, are doing very, very well. These are ones that I just transplanted. This is this is one that I actually had transplanted. And as you can see, there's flower clusters that are starting to open. Actually, some of my tomatoes down the way have flowers on them already, which is quite early for June 1st. Along the side here, these are all my peppers. And I didn't get 72 peppers. I think I have around 40 or maybe 36 peppers. But they're all doing very, very well. They're in these plastic pots I got at the dollar store. I like them a lot better than the grow bags. But as you can see, everything's nice and green. And if you go down here a little bit farther, I just transplanted these about two days ago. <clears throat> if you can see in there, they're flowering like crazy. And there's even some hot peppers. These are Hungarian wax. And there's about a dozen uh, peppers and flowers on there. Moving back along this way, I got tomato transplants. Some of these I'll be taking to market this coming week on Wednesday uh, because I don't have the room to plant all of these and here I have my seedling flats watermelon cantaloupe I have some bok choys here some tatsoi more uh, these are actually more zucchini squash for later in the season 
cucumbers, cucumbers, squash, and a variety of different things. Back to the center section, these pots here and these grow bags all along here, these are all cucumbers. These are all divas. I'll show you some that are actually coming on quite well up there. We've got another tray of Mizuna, another tray of chives. As you can see, the cucumbers here coming on quite well. You see, there's they're flowering in there. They have tons of buds, and I've actually started stringing some of these. You can see the strings, string some of these up to the greenhouse, up to the roof. Um, as these keep growing, I'll be putting more tomato clips, stringing them up. But I'll have cucumbers in probably two weeks, which is quite early for this season um, in this area. This here, these are actually all mint plants that I got. Um, from the market repotted them. They're looking awesome Here's a tray of cucumbers that I took to the market last week. No one bought them bought any I think it might be a little bit too early for people, but I will be taking them again this week and here is a uh, Another tray of squash that I just sowed a few uh, the other day maybe two days ago. They're not up yet Of course some Mizuna over here. I have all kinds of sunflowers winter squash same thing in here I got okra all kinds of gourds all kinds of things Here's a tray of mixed squash and okra and different things, sunflowers, that I will be taking to the market. Here I have some pots of Mizuna, or excuse me, not Mizuna. This is a Hosey Min um, mustard green. Different flavor than the uh, Southern Giant Curled. Then over here, we have more tomato seedlings. A lot of these are going to be going into the garden, but a lot of these I'm going to be trying to take to market and selling them. I really don't want to sell them. I just don't have the room or the time to, to plant all of these. I ended up with 108. Uh, if I can plant maybe 75 and sell 20 or 30, that's uh, that'd be all right with me. I'd sell these for probably four dollars a piece. Heck, Home Depot gets 3.99 for a tomato plant that looks half this good, in my opinion. So anyway, that's the overview of the greenhouse. Any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below or send me a PM. And uh, stay tuned for next week. Thanks for watching.